Pete McGill here. Today I'm going to show you a quick injury prevention routine. You can do it at your home, you can do it in your gym. It's six quick exercises and let's get started with squats. Quarter squats are a great exercise for runners. You'll get more bang from your exercise buck doing quarter squats than full squats or half squats. It makes sense when you think about it. We runners don't actually bend our knees that much when we land with each stride. So we'll only need to strengthen them for the amount of bend we get out of them. You want to stand straight with the barbell resting on your shoulders. Your feet should be hip width apart with your toes pointed slightly outward. It's best to start by taking the weight from a squat rack. Keeping your feet flat, move your hips back and bend your knees, lowering your torso until you get that quarter squat. Resist arching your back or performing the exercise too quickly. Once you're all the way down to the quarter squat position, reverse the motion until you reach your starting position again. Start with one or two sets, then build the three to five sets of eight to 10 reps per set. Step downs work your quadricep muscles eccentrically, strengthening them in preparation for the load they'll encounter when your foot touches down during each stride. In an eccentric contraction, your muscle lengthens even as it contracts. You want to balance on one foot at the edge of a platform, holding onto a nearby object for balance if needed. Suspend the opposite leg, knee bent, in front of the platform. Lower your hips by bending your support knee to approximately 45 degrees. Rise back to your starting position and repeat. Switch legs once you've finished your total reps for the set. You should do one to two sets of five to 10 reps each. Step ups target concentric contractions of your glutes and quadriceps. In concentric contractions, your muscle shortens as it contracts. Stand in front of a platform. Place your right foot on the platform with your left foot flat on the ground. Start with your knee and hip at 90 degrees. With your arms at your sides, push with your right leg to extend your hip and knee and rise into the platform. Rest the ball of your left foot on the platform. After a short pause, reverse direction to return to your starting position. Do all your reps with your right leg, then switch legs. You should do two sets of five to 10 reps for each leg. Single leg deadlifts are one of two exercises we'll do to work the hamstrings eccentrically. You can do these with weight or without. If you use weight, start with the dumbbell held at your side. On the opposite side is your down leg. Bend forward from your hips, reaching with your left hand toward your right foot. Simultaneously, lift and extend your left leg behind you. Maintain a slight bend in both knees. Return to your start position after each rep. I recommend using a chair or other object for balance. This exercise is about working your hamstrings not working balance. Do two sets of five to 10 reps with each leg. Nordic curls are a top hamstring injury prevention exercise. They prepare your legs for just before and after your foot touches down with each stride. When your hamstrings endure loads of eight to 10 times your body weight, kneel with your hands held at chest height. You'll need either a partner to pin your ankles or something to hold them in place. Bend forward from the knees, slowly lowering yourself toward the ground. Keep a relatively straight line from your spine to your knees. If you start to fall, use your hands to stop your descent. Use your arms to thrust yourself back up to the starting position. You'll want to do two sets of these. Start with about two to three reps, build up to eight to 10 reps. Heel dips will give you stiffer and stronger Achilles tendons, and that helps protect you from Achilles injuries. Balance on the balls of your feet on a platform or step. Your heel should extend over the edge of the platform. Use a rail or other support for balance. Shift all your weight to your right foot and slowly lower your right heel through your full range of motion. Use both feet to quickly rise back to the balls of your feet. Do all reps on one foot, then switch to the other. This isn't about working your calves, it's about the effect that lowering your heel has on your Achilles tendon. If the exercise becomes easy, wear a weight vest or hold a dumbbell in the same side hand as the exercising heel while performing your dips. Also, if a platform or step isn't available or a pain or stiffness prevents dropping your heel below ground level, it's okay to perform these on the ground. Start with one set, work up to two to three sets. Start with about 10 reps, work up to 20 reps per leg. Summing up, your runner's injury prevention routine includes six exercises that you'll perform one to three times per week. 
For additional photo instruction and almost 100 exercises, get my book Speed Runner, available in bookstores, on Amazon, and through other online vendors. Or go to my websites, PeteMcGill.com and SpeedRunnerCombine.com.